the storm will come, nothing will stop it. But where you are standing is what will determine what happens to you. So every marriage is attacked by the devil. You, your marriage is not the only one attacked by the devil. Why are you the only one suffering? Because of where you are standing. If you are hearing this way, and you won't be a doer, Jesus said you are like a fool that is building in the sun. The storm will come, the attack will come. And it will beat against the house and it will go down flat. But when you hear the word and you begin to apply his word in your marriage, let all the devils come against you. Let all the storm, let all the flood come. The Bible says it will beat against the house and the house will stand still because it's standing on the rock. Praise the Lord. And scriptures cannot be broken. So please, go back home today and love your wife again. Love your husband again. Let it be like you have just met. No matter what happened this morning before you came, you get back home and you say, devil, shame unto you. Jesus is glorified in my home. Praise the Lord. So you are going back home to renew the love. You are going back home to submit to your man the way you've never done it before. You know, a, a pastor friend told me a funny story that happened about a lady who got married and she never submitted to the husband. She never cooked for the husband. I mean, it's like she was married but she was living her own life. And um, one day she, a friend invited her to a marriage seminar like this. And the wife came and she received it. And then she gave her life to Christ and she realized how wicked she's been to her husband. So now she went back home and you know put the house in order everything was neat uh went to maybe uh see us bought new comforters dressed the bed dressed the dining table took her time cooked very delicious meals set the table with candle lights and flowers everything so now the man comes home from work he entered the house he said uh you didn't tell me we are receiving visitors today <laughs> <laughs> and then lady said, Oh, honey, no, 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 we are not receiving business. It's you, everything here, you are so special. The man said, uh, Wait, 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 wait. You mean all this for me? The man said, Yes, it's for you. He looked at the wife, he said, You think I'm stupid, eh? You think I'm stupid. What is it that you have put in the food? <laughs> that you want me to eat and die? That is why you've made this so, so delicious and so beautiful so that I will eat everything and die and go. I'm not stupid, I won't touch that food. Since we got married, when have you put food on the table for me? Talk less of candles and flowers. Look, I'm not stupid. I'm not a stupid man. So the woman has to run back to the husband, uh, pastor. He said, pastor, this is what is going on. My husband doesn't even believe in me. So the pastor went to the house. Sat the man down and said, no sir, your wife is not doing anything. She just realized that she hasn't been a good wife. The word of God came to her, her eyes are open. And now she's trying to be a good wife, that's all. So please, receive her Amen. and allow her to be Amen. that wife. Amen. And that was how the man also gave her life, his life Amen. to Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want you to go home today and let everybody that sees you from today testify that you came here yes. this Sunday. Then you sat down and listened to God's word concerning money. You are going back home to step on the head of that devil. Amen. Who says you won't enjoy peace? Who says you won't succeed in marriage? God says marriage is good. And listen to me, man. God said he that finds a wife has found a good thing. No matter how you have looked at your wife before, go home and tell your wife, Ali, you are good to me. You are good in my life. You are a blessing. You are and you 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 are you are you are not a problem to me. I love you, I cherish you, I honor you with all my wife. I mean with all my heart. And the wife is also going to go home and look at your husband and say, Honey, I love you with all my heart. I submit to your authority, I submit to your leadership, I submit to you. And when you begin it this way, the moment you hold your hands together and begin to pray, heaven, wait. Answer. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Heaven will answer. And so please, don't live your married life anyhow. I keep telling men, the woman we, you are looking at, I'm talking of your wife, 
she is not just your wife. She is also the mother of your children, the children you claim to love. She is the mother of the children. And so you are not just dealing with a wife, you are dealing with the mother of the children you love. And some men, because their heads are not well balanced on their shoulders, they go like, oh, me, I love my kids. I ask for my kids, I love them. I don't care about the woman, I love my kids. I told the man, did you pluck the kids from the tree? Did you pluck them from the tree? How did you get them? Somebody carried them nine months in their womb. Have you carried a baby before? Do you know how it feels like? You know, I love my wife the more the first time I saw my wife deliver my first baby. And I stood there with her holding her hand and I looked at what she was going through. I said, every man must experience this. Is that what the woman has to go through to make me a father? I will be the most stupid man to do anything to hurt her. Praise the Lord. And so next week, God willing, we are going to get into the responsibility of the man in the home. And we are going to go into detail on this issue. Then we will understand why you have to love the woman. And to bring it, bring it to a conclusion, let me emphatically say this to the men. You are nobody without your wife. Yes. Just understand it. Without the woman, you are not good. God said it. Everything I've made is good except man because man is a road. So without the woman, you are not good. So it is only a stupid man that will treat that we came to make you good anyhow. That's the truth. Get this understanding. Christianity is working with God with his principle. It is not church membership. The devil is wrecking homes because people just go to church. They are happy with church membership. They are happy with singing and dancing. Praise God for all those things. But if after all this, you are not working with God on the basis of his principle, you are a joker. Yes. In the church. <laughs> Everywhere. Whether in the church or out there. Praise the Lord. 